There are many secrets and Easter eggs being hidden around in Roblox Funky Friday, and it's been a while since we had our last secret venture too. Today we'll be going over 20 more secrets and Easter eggs that you didn't know in Funky Friday. So smack that like and subscribe and comment down below which secrets you didn't know about. Number one, we do have a strange looking person serving us some goods in the Cafe de Toho restaurant. If you go over to the counter, we can see a person with a black head and a green outfit wearing a belt buckled hat. This is actually Vern, and he's one of the many map creators for Funky Friday, which is neat. Number two, looks like we have a new poster sign behind the welcome board. We already know about the Miku one, but who's this right next to it? This is actually Melissa, who was a character from the Taho Project series, and this looks to be another Funky Friday thumbnail created by Acaholic. If you look even closer, we can see a little orange imposter too, a sussy secret within a secret perhaps. Number 3, in the mouse.avi background, we can see two individuals chilling a couple alleyways down from the stage. It looks like a fox with a hat and a mysterious individual with a mask. The fox is actually a cameo of Pessimistic, while the other figure is one of Tambrush's old cameos as well. Number 4, it looks like Tambrush has his own little saloon show up because a couple buildings down in the sad mouse to avi background we could see a shop called 10 brush saloon hmm. never knew he was into the hairstyle department huh number five in the abandoned center background the pokey center was replaced with the cerno center and it features a decal of cerno another character from toho it's another easter egg that shows the developers love for the franchise number six in the baby's farm background it looks like the farm didn't always belong to to Bambi. If we take a look at the sign, we can see the old Zardy's Maze text behind the new Bambi's farm text in front in red. Looks like the farm is under a new owner or something. Number 7 in the corrupted classroom background, if we head over behind the black pixelated part of the room, we can see a little figurine of Vern in the back corner. This is his little signature that he likes to hide in all of his maps. Number 8 in the same background on the chalkboard, we can see a blue stick poking out of the hole holding the sign, you can't run. This is actually an easter egg to Sonic.exe as it's a model of Sonic's hand coming out of a ring. Number 9 in the Cyber Sensation background, there are many panels that show different things such as the old Roblox website, but if we swing around, we can see a hidden panel that says new leak pointing to a green dinosaur with a hat. Could this actually be a leak in the future? Comment what you think. Number 10, in the Dave's classroom background, everything seems normal until you look outside. This background is the only one in the game that is featured within another background, which is the regular Dave background. Two in one package is what I like to say. Number 11, in the expurgation background, there is a giant wall that features two more hidden characters sitting around and staring into the red sky. Once again, we have Tambrush sitting towards the left, but who is that cat figure with the glasses? This is actually used animates another Funky Friday animator. Number 12, moving into one of our new map additions, Hex's Court, there are a couple more cameos that we can find. On the left side off the court, there's a red figure with a sweater waving at us behind the bush. This is a cameo of the Roblox YouTuber X Demon. On the other side off the court, we can see yet another figure wearing a Valk and holding a basketball as well. This is another cameo of Rectway, yet another Roblox YouTuber, which is really cool. Number 13, in the Lucky Boy's room background, a lot of people often overlook this, but there's actually an imposter plushie that is tucked away on the bottom drawer of the bookshelf. It's not just filled with books, which is very sussy. Number 14, in MLG's alleyway, there are a lot of drawings on the wall, but the whole idea of the background comes from the MLG badge that was placed on the green dumpster behind the stage. This is definitely one gamer dumpster if I've ever seen one. Number 15, in the new Nevada background, there are a couple more cameos to go over which does include Hank sitting in plain sight behind the stage. He's just chilling there with a knife which is pretty menacing. Over towards our right we can see Tambrush once again chilling on a floating island. 
He's been in how many maps so far already? It's actually pretty crazy. Number 16, the nonsense background has a couple of secrets and easter eggs as well, which includes some cameos of Vern, the creator of the map once again. He has his figure and this time, a portrait of himself as well on the table. On top of the bookshelf, we could see another Roblox figurine in which we don't know at this point, probably one of Vern's friends, and of course, a very sus looking garbage can. Number 17, in the Stickman background, there are a ton of easter eggs of contributors to the game in the form of these paintings and the wall. The characters include Gabriel, a Funky Friday Charter, Windleaf, a mod creator, Touch Event, another Funky Friday animator, Marshy Flake, a Funky Friday map creator, and also Fiber, one of the original animators for the game. We also have a painting of someone with Flan covering their face. This is another cameo of Marshy Flake, which is interesting. Number 18, in the Doki classroom background, we can see yet another figurine of Vern sitting in a chair. But an even crazier secret is this hidden Morse code shown on the document. The Morse code reads, help me after fixing up some mistakes. I wonder what this means. Comment below what you think. Number 17, Toasty's Kitchen has a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, which first goes along with its design. Apparently the map looks different from the mod because the kitchen wasn't allowed to be put into Funky Friday due to it being Ron's kitchen from Versus Cheeky. They had to improvise by changing the map around. Number 18, the map does contain a stage full of bobs and some special guest cameos such as Dave towards the back left, Baldy towards the front left, Heartless Willow in the orange who was the map creator along with other cameos, and a Roblox noob avatar in the front right as well. Number 19, in the triple trouble background towards the right side off into the distance, you can see a very scary purple smile that seems to be drooling and staring at the stage. Surprisingly, this smile is actually a thing called the Froffle Pet, and yes, they did turn it into a Roblox item, which is rather interesting to say the least. Number 20, in the Void Palace, you can actually zoom your camera out in order to get a glimpse of what the background looks like from the outside. You can zoom out towards the windows and also zoom out from the top viewing glass, which does look cool. Not many maps allow you to do this, especially if it's enclosed. Those are 20 more secrets and easter eggs that you didn't know in Roblox Funky Friday. Which ones did you not know about? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you smack that like and subscribe to stay up to date for new content coming your way. And we'll see you next time.